Next, we'll want to add in a north arrow and a scale bar. And we can do that once again from the Insert tab and then use the Insert and More Options. And then you can pick the appropriate north arrow that you want to include in your drawing. If there's not one in the list, we can always use a different location where the north and scale bars are. And you can find that on the Layout Tools tab. And then there's North Arrow. And we can pick a North Arrow from the list. It's going to ask you to pick a viewport to attach the North Arrow to. And so I'm going to select Viewport. Try it again. And then I'm going to pick a point for the North Arrow to be located at. And it looks like the scale is a little bit too small. So I can come over here to the scale in the AutoCAD properties and change the value to be bigger. Um, so there's the arrow. It looks like there's a scale button, so I can make it bigger by using the scale. And so that's the north arrow direction. I can do the same thing for a scale bar. And I want to pick an imperial one. And it's going to ask me for the divisions. I'm going to do 20 feet. Hit OK. And then place it in the drawing. And then that's going to be my scale bar. Now you can move the blocks to a more appropriate location if you want. And that'll give me a north arrow and a scale bar.